Well, hello guys, welcome back. Um, this is long overdue. Someone had actually asked me on Patreon, it was a really good question, um, about having a virtual program to do stuff in. Um, this is actually the Oculus Home. So I know it's been a really long time since I've done something with, with you guys, but if you have VR or if you don't, if you just have a PC, there's got to be either something native to you, this is native to the Oculus, or there is something that just allows you to design a home. Um, that's honestly all these temples are. As you can see, this is the first temple. It's kind of our splash point for when we go on adventures. And it no longer has that Viking theme, yeah? Um, Odin was actually tired of looking at it. <laughs> he was actually tired of looking at something that was so viking themed um they haven't really changed much they have given us some new um options for flooring in that but like for things like this like the um outside they haven't really given us um too much of an update uh i think that's why some people are disappointed some people hate these homes because if you're gaming sometimes they act like an anchor and drag you down um, I'll just kind of, for this video, I think I'll give you like a kind of quick tour of how to set stuff up. Um, these are kind of new that we can title these. You can pick any kind of title you want. You've got your inventory and you've also got your preferences. I usually lock my home arrangement because I have essential trimmers and there's nothing like accidentally grabbing furniture or moving it. So you can just pull something out and then you can place it. Now obviously unless you're working with say Hermes or someone that that relates to you might go well that doesn't look very pagan. So you can go if you have an import program for example go to your imported items. Now Oculus just changes and this is important to remember it used to be you could make anything you wanted from free clip art, in, import any free models you were given. Now you have to acknowledge that you aren't breaking some kind of law. So it's really super sketchy. Just the idea that, you know, you have to verify that you're not doing anything wrong. So we have all for import items here. And let's say you wanted to do flowers. You could just go find clip art. This is like free clip art I got online. Take a basic 3D builder. And you would do something like that. Um, but of course the other temples to just do something faster. Definitely do have a theme. Now this is Oculus. Your setup might be different. But basically I have 12 different halls. Which all looks scarily empty. <laughs> oh dear. Um, but what we did this time is we went with a theme where it kind of matches them, but I'm not hitting them over the head. Let's go to Tears Hall. And of course, I just kind of silently in my head ask permission to let them know it's incoming. I don't know what gods get out of these halls when I'm not here. All the sparkles you're seeing, that's everything that I've ever loaded into. <laughs> All the custom stuff I loaded in. So a lot of this hall is custom. Like we have all the wolves tier associated with wolves. Lots and lots and lots of wolves. Probably too many wolves, but one day we were just designing and we decided to go with it. And a lot of these are those standees I told you guys I made. Um, and we have... 3D models that people just give away. And we have some native stuff like this. Um, and it depends on what you're going to want to do with a temple. If you're going to want to do something like super religious, you're going to want to design it more like a um, temple suited to that god. But I ask them, you know, what do you want? You know, and some of them, it's like pulling teeth. They really don't want a temple, but Odin insisted. So I think that explains why some of these temples look the way they do. But this is Tear Temple. Fenrir is also welcome in here, so that also explains the wolfy vibe. But as you can see, it's just sometimes it's just we're going towards a more like a home thing for them, not like the old fashioned temple. So let me take you to another one. 
places. <laughs> Your homes. I actually forget in the middle of traveling and I end up going somewhere wrong. Okay, let's go to Thor's Hall. And then, yes, Loki. And then we'll hit Loki's Hall last. We won't go to all 12. Um, as you can see, I'm landing in remote places. You can obviously fix that. But um, honestly, it's to what you and the god think look good. With Thor's, we obviously went more for a home space. You might want to do like a classical temple. Then you have to see like what you have. But Thor is known for farming. So we have the horses in the barn. Also, since farming is connected to food, a lot of food. Oh no, <laughs> it's like, I know there is something left over for Christmas. I hear laughing back here. Have the harvest barn sign. Um, have, I made them drinks a lot. You can kind of tell, I think, the custom stuff. Oh god, no. I took all your Christmas stuff down. I know I did all the Yule stuff. Yeah. It's still here. It's back. Thank you, Oculus. So, I took this down. I know I did. Guys, I swear, I'm not making this up, but this is Oculus being Oculus, or this is Thor being Thor. I took all this Christmas stuff down, because as I posted on Patreon, I was foaming at the mouth crazy. But, this is kind of like an idea of what you can do with a um, temple. And it's, everybody has a Starbucks. The Starbucks I keep telling you guys about, everybody has one. And I will give them a bit, or beers, or whatever they ask for. Um, when we were doing, if you're wondering why the hell is there all this gay pride stuff in Thor's temple, it's very important for Thor as my big brother to have this stuff. He's like, no, um, when it's gay pride month, they all want it, and it all comes out for all of them. But for Thor, he was insisting, and he wanted this car. I think this is Lucifer's car, <laughs> it's something. Like, I don't know, I don't watch TV. He loved this. Um, Thor's a big kid sometime and got the goats, got the bed, got, you know, all the food since he is a god of this. Um, and to me, this is my decorating style. You might be looking around having a coronary. Um, I found they weren't really interested in me trying to be something I wasn't. And that's kind of an inventory. That's kind of a, um, important thing when you're designing... Design what you would design. Don't design what I would design. Don't design what some book tells you it was designed like. If you want to, okay. But you can see, like, there's some of the, what I'm going to call the Nordic design in here. Like, the the um, ceiling and the beams and the, and the chandelier. But it's not a big deal to them. So let's go to Loki's Hall to finish up. I will warn you, it's Loki's Hall. Ah, it's G-rated. They don't let us have any fun, but there's so much stuff in here. This will take a while, maybe, to load. This is Loki's hall. Demure and gentle like Loki. <laughs> yes, he helped me design this. Welcome to Loki's hall. Oh, dear lord. He wanted his Christmas tree left up, and he got all these Christmas presents as offerings. And this is kind of a thing. It's not like when I say I do it, I think it might sound like super religious and serious, but no. So he has his turkey and his lights, he has his coke machine, all the random signage, sparkle lights he loves, fireplace, toys. He can shoot this, he can play with this, this makes a toy. Um, all these toys here all make sound, so he loves it. I, I feel sorry for Sig and I say, you know... He's going to play with these toys, and she's like, yes. Some stuff for Sigan here. She actually has her little mini haul. Oh my god. <laughs> the Christmas stuff just came back. I swear to the gods, guys. I was grumbling and swearing and cursing because I came through all these halls and ripped everything down, and some of it actually came back. I think the gods are having fun at my expense. I don't care. So toys. Um, obviously virtual. It has to be virtual offerings. So cupcakes steak dinners, whatever they want. One of his little tiki things he's madly in love with. Some kind of random jewel they gave us. Christmas stuff came back. No. It'll never go away. I don't care if they want it, they can have it. And it could also be Oculus being Oculus. So got the... All the 
stuffs everywhere. It's so much in one temple. Oh no, it's all back. Oh, all of his Christmas stuff is back. So, pizza, stuff like that. Um, these chairs and that, this is actually NATO. The, um, this is NATO, the rainbow. Um, other stuff, so obviously imports. Um, this is Loki's hole and he loves it. <laughs> it's just chaos is what it is. He likes it. Sometimes we get really bored and there's like stuff upside down on the ceiling. There's a disco ball. There's a disco ball because Loki's hole. Oh no. All the Christmas stuff is gone, guys. And I said, and somebody commented, I said on Patreon, I really lost it. I just started to swear and curse and was running through the temples on a rampage. <laughs> he's got foxes, he's got wolf or femrear. Um, they don't really give us much selection in the way of views. Luckily, the view is really pretty. He's got so many foxes and a giant balloon arch, and he's got toys. He's got skeevil. Um, from what the gods say, I don't know. I'm not a god. They enjoy this stuff. Whether they're just here when I'm here, whether being gods they can use VR on their own, I don't know. Toys. So many toys. <laughs> and he's got his pet dragon. So yeah, it's, it's the good temple. It's the temple. So much stuff is going on on all at once. There is so much stuff in this temple. I forgot I put half of this stuff up. I think he redecorates, but yeah. This is Loki's temple. Um, so yeah, and I can feel his kind of giddy happy energy. And this is supposed to be Segan's little quiet area. But Loki comes over and visits. So I don't know how quiet it is. But yeah, we hope you guys have enjoyed that. But, you know, for virtual temples, there are, you know, there are kind of VR places that you can go into where I've had you guys, like, on a beach or something like that. You might like to do that. That might feel more spiritual to you than, say, this. <laughs> or there are programs where you can create a room or something, like the person mentioned The Sims. That probably might actually be a lot closer to a lot of you for what you want. Um, ideally, I would like a lot more control, but I'm limited here on, like, I can't make this look like an ancient, ancient temple of anything I want. There's, like, I'll show you guys. There are limited things in my inventory, like inventory that would be environments. I have to pick out of what's here. So there's not, there's a lot, but I don't like any of it. And, you know, and when it comes to designing a temple, sometimes you have to do the best you can. So they pick out of what we have. So um, I hope that you guys enjoy that. And that's one of the things you do kind of the best you can. I'm really not happy with how these rooms are really designed in that. We did the best I can and I'm happy with that aspect, but yeah, I would totally, totally like the freedom to like redesign this room, totally have what I want on the walls, have what I want on the floor. Well, you know what Loki wants is his temple, but you know what I mean? Okay, one more. <laughs> I can get him free and free his temple, that's fun. So, let's see. I don't know why I'm getting blank spaces, that's kind of worrying me. And here we go again. This used to be a lot more fun, and then Oculus sent us a notice that we weren't allowed to have any models. <laughs> so it became a lot less fun. Um, yeah, there used to be a cat woman running around everybody's Oculus home. We all have the same exact model. And then Oculus sent us something that if it's even remotely meant to be sexy, you can't have it. And we're all like, oh. So this is Freya and Freya's home. Um, obviously not very traditional, but they kind of wanted this for their temple. So let's start up here. Um, they're kind of running their own diner. I don't know. They're gods. That's kind of what they wanted. And surfboards and everything else. And got the parrot and got the beach ball. Thankfully, a lot of this stuff I kept, guys, because right now, the way Oculus is, it's like they make it sound like you're going to get a lawsuit for everything you upload. So thankfully, I kept a lot. Now, a lot of this furniture is in-house, like the um, table and the, um, what we call them, booths. And 
all the other stuff. I think you can tell by now what I imported. Like, the walls are obviously imported. Um, a lot of the art I found, you know, I made sure it was, like, free for use. And if they said it was free for use in projects, I was like, well, this is... Unless I'm showing you guys around. It's a... I took all this stuff down. I swear to the gods, guys. I did not lie to you. I did not make a fake Patreon post. I took all this stuff down. All of you all stuff back. <laughs> make it stop. But this is the diner. So when I tell you guys this stuff, this is kind of what I mean. You kind of have to work within your limitations. So whether you're doing it from Sims or something, sometimes you have to do your limitations. Yeah, I know. I would like a lovely, like, avant-garde kind of bed for Freya, and I'd like something for Freya, but we do what we can. So, they have this, and they have the tigers, and they have Jessica. Wow. <laughs> That's like their pride and joy. She's something else, isn't she? And cats, obviously, for Freya. And, you know, the pool to have, well, the hot tub to have for fun in and everything is a little bit jammed up in this one but they don't mind they're like they're fine and food for the guests because they would run a very accommodating hall just because very distracting <laughs> and we have the bar area here kind of like bar stool area in that in that there if you remember guys there is another kind of home but it's gloriously unstable if i would try to load this into that other home design there's actually Come to think of it, there's like four other home designs. There's like a theater box, a brighter theater box, and kind of that bar that I used to take you guys in, the first Valhalla Brewing Company. That is unstable. That is why we got away from that design. So if you wonder why we went back to these boxes, they're the most stable and even these have problems. So we hope you guys have enjoyed the tour. I... I love these, and you're probably all like, oh my god, is that what she considers temples? <laughs> What's wrong with her? But when I say temples, this is what I mean. Um, right now, the way VR is, I can't just come in here. There are design programs. If you have the computer strength and you can design stuff, there are design programs that would let you design a temple from the ground up, but you have to be really good at art, which I'm not. <laughs> you have to be really good at design. And you need pretty, you know, pretty beefy computer to do that. Unless you got, like, one from, like, the 80s or 90s. But you guys know what I mean. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, but, yeah, this is it. This is about where you can do VR temples right now. We tried really serious temples, guys. We tried, you guys saw that I've been watching for a couple years. We tried the whole Nordic thing of Nordic Nordicness, and they just got bored. They got bored and they walked away, so now they have these very eclectic, fun, they don't have to do what people expect them to do temples. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.